Is Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib under investigation for election fraud because she made sure her name would appear as a voting option? No, that's not true. The story was published by a liberal satire website that tries to fool Trump supporters and Republicans into sharing made-up stories that are clearly marked as satire when you actually click them. Articles from the site are frequently copied by foreign-run fake news websites. The people liking and sharing these stories are enriching foreign website operators or a liberal from Maine via the ad revenue generated with the content which is probably not what they expected or wanted. The story originated from an article published by Tater's Gunna Tate on July 19, 2019 titled Rashida Tlaib Under Investigation for Election Fraud, which opened. Quote, Inside sources have revealed that Michigan Democrat Rep. Rashida Tlaib is under FBI investigation for alleged election tampering in her own election. It is alleged that Tlaib, in her zeal to win and attempt to take down the president, rigged voting machines in her district to allow her name to appear as a voting option. This after her Republican rival, whose company manufactured the machines, had erased any mention of her on the ballots. End quote. Users on social media only saw this title, description and thumbnail. Quote, Rashida Tlaib under investigation for election fraud inside sources have revealed that Michigan Democrat Rep. Rashida Tlaib is under FBI investigation for alleged election tampering in her own election. It is alleged that Tlaib, in her zeal, End quote. There is no such FBI investigation ongoing and the story was posted in the category satire and or conservative fan fiction. Also, making sure your name is on the ballot is of course perfectly legitimate and the story was making fun of that. Note that this satirical story is different from this Fox News report involving a possible campaign finance violation. Quote, Rashida Tlaib's campaign paid her $17,500 in salary after Election Day, in possible violation of FEC rules, report U.S. Rep. Rashida Tlaib, D. Mish, is facing questions after campaign records revealed she paid herself $17,500 as a salary after the midterm elections, in what appeared to be a violation of campaign finance rules, a report said. Tlaib, a firebrand freshman Democrat from Detroit, has been facing scrutiny over her connections to radical anti-Israel activists and a profane call to impeach President Trump, end quote. That investigation did not conclude yet but it did not involve election fraud since it was not about directly tampering with votes but about potentially improper payments made after the election. That story did note. Quote, an FEC spokesperson told the Washington Free Beacon that candidates are allowed to make payments to themselves after the election, but only for activities that happened during the election period. An election law and government ethics lawyer also told the outlet that Tlaib may have deflated her monthly payments during the campaign for political purposes while knowing full well that she would make up any difference at the end by giving herself a lump sum payment. End quote. The story about the election fraud was published by a liberal satire magazine and shouldn't be taken at face value. The site is part of the America's Last Line of Defense network of satire websites run by self-professed liberal troll Christopher Blair from Maine along with a loose confederation of friends and allies. Blair has been in a feud with fact-checking website Snopes for some time now and has also criticized other fact-checkers in the past who labeled his work fake news instead of satire. In reaction to this he has recently rebranded all his active websites and Facebook pages so they carry extremely visible disclaimers everywhere. Every site in the network has an about page that reads, in part, quote, about satire before you complain and decide satire is synonymous with comedy, satire sati, renowned use of humor, irony, exaggeration, or ridicule to expose and criticize people's stupidity or vices, particularly in the context of contemporary politics and other topical issues. Everything on this website is fiction. It is not a lie and it is not fake news because it is not real. If you believe that it is real, you should have your head examined. Any similarities between this site's pure fantasy and actual people, places, and events are purely coincidental and all images should be considered altered and satirical. See above if you're still having an issue with that satire thing. End quote. Articles from Blair's sites frequently get copied by real fake news sites who often omit the satire disclaimer and any other hints the stories are fake.